What's up guys? We're going to make six simple chicken recipes today that you can make in your college room dorm with the George Foreman, with a pan, with anything. But these are six simple recipes, so let's get right into it. Bop! Alright, the first recipe we're going to do is salt and pepper. Very simple, but it can taste really good if you do it right. So we're going to put our chicken thigh in the bowl. Then we'll put some salt in it, some pepper, mix it around, let the water set out, and that's it. Okay, first one, done. Salt, pepper, very simple, done. All right, the second recipe we're gonna do is uh, some gojujang sauce. Look at that, that dude right there. So we'll get a spoon of this in with the chicken breast, mix it up, let it marinate for 30 minutes, and then we'll cook it. Put your chicken in. This only cost a couple dollars at the store. Okay, we got our second piece of chicken right there. And then we got gojujang sauce. Get a little sloop of that. Plop that in there. And that's basically done. Just mix it up. It's gonna turn into a bright red, beautiful looking piece of chicken. It looks very spicy, but it's not that spicy. Hi Rihanna's grandma. Then we'll just pan fry it or grill it, and it'll look beautiful and taste amazing. Our third chicken recipe is gonna be chicken adobo, soy sauce, something from my aunt. So we got one of these. This cost me a dollar at the store. And then we're gonna take the chipotles out, use the sauce, add some soy sauce to it, and that's it. Soy sauce has a lot of salt in it, so it'll flavor it a lot. So you don't need to add salt or pepper or anything like that. Okay, it looks like this isn't really sauce, so we're just gonna take a scoop of this and add some soy to it. Got the adobo chilies in here, some soy sauce, about a tablespoon or so. Then plop a chicken breast in there, mix it up, and let it marinate. That's it. Recipe number four, we're gonna make teriyaki chicken. It's a lot easier than you think. You don't gotta put all the ingredients together because they sell convenient bottles like this of teriyaki sauce. So you just gotta put the chicken in, pour some sauce in it, mix it up, done. So we're just going to pour a little bit of teriyaki sauce in here, just enough. You don't want to go too crazy, so you can use this a lot, you know? While we're cooking this, if you listen to Nav, tell me what your favorite song is, so I can give it a listen, you know? And the new album just came out, Pretty Fire, got Uzi, got Young Thug, and more. I just got a fork and I'm just going to stab it because maybe it'll make the flavor go in a bit more. Boom, teriyaki chicken, done. All right, for the fifth recipe, we're gonna make the most American recipe you can for chicken. Barbecue sauce, you can see? And we got some good kind. That KC masterpiece, you feel me? So put our chicken in here. We're not just gonna make a regular barbecue sauce, that'd be too simple. So, if you got some, a couple extra ingredients, you can make something about four billion times better. So barbecue sauce in here. Then we'll put a little bit of sriracha. Then we'll put some honey in it, and we're making spicy honey barbecue. Doesn't that sound crazy? Because it is crazy. There. Oh! All right, we got our spicy honey barbecue right here. And for the last one, this is gonna be a very simple recipe, but it's for that special lady. We're gonna get our chicken thigh, slap it on here, and we're making a stuffed chicken breast. Gonna go halfway right here. I put my hand on it like this because I see people on shows do it. Then cut just enough through. We don't want to cut all the way through because we got to close the thing back up. But make sure you go up enough so that there's a little flappy of chicken. I had some provolone cheese in the fridge. If you don't have any provolone cheese, you can use Swiss or something like that. Then we're just going to lay some cheese on top. And we're going to put a couple strips of uh, bell pepper in here, a couple of diced chops, I mean, and then that'll add some flavor to the chicken. All right, guys, now that you got your little bell peppers in here, just lay them, sprinkle them into the, onto the cheese. Then, if you have a local quick trip, gas station, anything like that, 
they usually have a hot dog area, right? So here's what I did. Went to Quick Trip, bought a hot dog, then I got one of these little cup things and I filled it up with the condiments on top. This has tomatoes and onions in it. So we're gonna add this to it. Simple life hack, you don't gotta spend money on it. Just steal it. We go right here, fold a couple pieces of chicken over, or this probably won't even be a stuffed chicken. It'll just be chicken with stuff on top. So here we go. Boom, call that good. Put it in its own bowl, and don't tell me how ugly it is. What up, it's time to cook. Boom, salt and pepper, goju jang, teriyaki, adobo soy sauce, spicy honey barbecue, and what's supposed to be stuffed chicken. All right guys, first we're gonna cook the salt and pepper chicken, the simple chicken, pop a little bit of oil in it, and then let the pan heat up on medium high heat. Salt, pepper, chicken, see that boy? Lay it in. Always lay your food away from you so the oil doesn't splatter on you. Little tips, learn that from Gordon Ramsay, my dad. We're gonna cook one side for about three to four minutes and then we'll flip it and cook it for like three minutes, then we'll pull this. All right, it's golden brown, you see it sizzling. Now we're gonna put it on the other side. That's only salt and pepper, is that crazy or not? Very crazy, because it's nothing. All right, the chicken has been cooking for almost three minutes on this side, we're gonna pull it. Amazing. Now that we still have our pan hot, we're gonna put the stuffed chicken in. I'm gonna put the stuffed side down first so we can cook. Now on the stuffed chicken, we're gonna put a bit of salt and pepper on this side. We're turning the heat down to about five, so that it's a medium heat. We don't wanna burn it as fast, or cook it as fast as the other one, because we're not gonna flip it that much. So we want it just a bit seared on this side, and then warmer heat on the other side. All right, it's been about five to six minutes on this side. The heat is on low, so we're gonna take it off the heat. This is a grill pan that I stole from my grill now. This is like a George Foreman. First, we're gonna get our gojujang chicken and grill that. On the other side of the pan, we're gonna get our teriyaki chicken and put that on. We're gonna do the same thing on this, three to four minutes on each side. Next, we're gonna flip the chicken. On a grill pan, you wanna turn it 45 degrees so you get some beautiful grill marks on it, cross hatching and stuff. All right, it's been about three more minutes. We're gonna take the chicken off the pan. All right, guys, now we got two chickens left. Our adobo chicken right here and our spicy honey barbecue right here. So we're gonna put these in the pan. All right, rinse and repeat. Four minutes on this side, four minutes on the other side. All right, four minute mark, flip it. All right, time to pull the chicken, it's been three to four minutes. All right guys, here's the finished product. This is the salt and pepper chicken. This is the stuffed chicken. This is the gojujang chicken. That is the teriyaki chicken. This is the spicy honey barbecue chicken. And that is the adobo soy chicken. Six easy recipes. Like and subscribe, follow, and that's it. Press the link, put your things to the side. Check it out, better like and subscribe. New video for your entertainment. They just blowing up, you can't contain it.